What is going on guys? DBG here and oh my god. Oh my god, lads. Oh my god. The first, lads, if you guys are new to the channel, before, before anything, lads, please, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit, um, 300, we're trying to 295,000 subscribers by the end of the day. Right now we are about 250 off. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. But lads, all I'm going to say is this. No words, just listen. Lads, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao freaking Ming, point guard, Yao Ming, yeah, so anniversary Yao, 86 three ball, 80 speed Yao Ming, only center, thank God, only a center for anniversary Yao. Um, he's missing not many defensive badges. Missing a lot of playmaking badges. Um, still huge. He's still gonna be a giant. Shifty. Low ball handle though. He's not gonna be that great. He's gonna be fine. Not gonna be that great. Wait, we've signature series signature signed Yao Ming. What? Three. Invincible Yao and Endgame Yao. Okay, so we got signature series Yao Ming. It's a 45 hops. 84 speed with an 87 three ball. God tier shooting badges. 79 ball handle. 20 hop defensive badges. And can play power forward, lads. The only Yao by the looks of things that can't play power forward. That cannot play. I can only play center is the anniversary. This card is perfectly fine. Set shot and very quick. Chicken release. Normal leaner. Shifty dribble style. Doesn't need these dribble sigs. Does he have it behind the back? He has the normal behind the back. Normal behind the back is good, by the way. For anyone wondering, normal behind the back is good. Outside of like, outside of Kawhi and Scotty, it's the next best behind the back. And maybe Harden. And it's what it's, it's, it's decent. It's decent. Let me just say it's decent. Even this, yeah, it was kind of him. Signature sign, there's one half badge difference. I mean, if the half badge is quick for a step, that actually doesn't matter. And it is quick for a step. I mean, everyone can get half quick for a step. Which is not too bad. But he goes into like the basic spin and stuff. Oh, he gets two extra halves. It's quick for a step and. Post play make? No. Downhill? Ooh, we get downhill and quick first step. Alright, so you just sign might be might be the damn. That might be him. That might be him. Especially when we're looking at card art. You got rookie Yao Ming here. For signature. Then you got rookie Yao Ming for out of position for point guard Yao Ming. Why are we point guard Yao Ming? Lads, I'm just saying. If I guess the next player, you guys have subscribed. It's Yami. Genius. Genius. Only a 60 ball hunt. This year was worse than the last year, by the way. This year was worse than the last year. Even though he has less. He, he's a way less half. So he's a better shooter. This year was worse than the last year. He's got more speed. But like what he doesn't have is his ball handle is minus 19. And he also gets a lot. He gets some. He has less defensive badges. You know, I'm guessing all of them have juice tendencies. Yeah, all of them have really good tendencies. But uh, yeah, this Yao is not the colossal Yao Ming is not as good as the signature series. So either of these signature series are better than colossal. Just because of you see again, even with this one, every half defensive badge speed is only one difference, and you get the better ball handle. You know, he does lose the shooting badge, the plus ninety. It's a lot easier to give, give shooting badges than to get a plus nineteen ball handle.
out of position. Yeah, I mean, don't. He's not a point guard, by the way. But like, ninety speed. Every every playmaking badge in the game. Oh God! They gave him the Scotty behind the back with the Doncic size, which isn't that bad. The KD escape. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! I was like, oh, they're gonna give him like the same sigs as other cards. Nope. <laughs> this guy might be better than his invincible. This guy might be better than his end game. No, his invincible gets the good sigs. He's better than his invincible. I don't care. Wow, well, ten extra half badges. I don't care. I'd rather play the Yao Ming at the damn shooting guard position. They made him 244 pounds. For no reason either. They made him 244 pounds. For no reason. For no reason. He doesn't have... He has no dribble moves that make a difference. The only reason he's 244 pounds is probably because they gave this one the curry slide. Holy crap. Out of position Yao Ming. This guy might be better in the end game. Set shot eight is glitch. Nobody's guarding set shot. By the way, if you play him at the one and you just shoot over players, you need a 6'10. You need a 6'10 player to contest his shot. You literally press square and it's going to go in. Like, what? End game, Yao Ming. Set shot 25. D Rose. They. <sighs> They, why 2k why does he have the john smith sigs why does he have the john smith sigs though your last four end game cards that weren't point guards are copies and pastes they're literally copy paste of each other with different uppers forget end game this is the best yao ming by the way this is the best yao ming like stop with the john smith sigs Stop with the John Smith six. There's so many good size ups. You got Francis, you got Mitchell, you got Kemba, you got D Rose, you got Kyrie. There's so many good size ups. There's so many good escapes. You got Trey, you got Kemba, you got Levine, you got M. Um, what you call it? You got Curry, you got Harden. There's so many good escapes. Stop giving everyone John Smith six. Especially because you're going to do normal leaner on next gen. Stop giving everyone John Smith sigs. But he's John. He's a 7-6 John Smith. He's going to be the best player in the game. He's a 7-6 John Smith. Wow, 70-50 Anas. Point guard center. Okay. Is there a shooting guard, Giannis? Why did they say there was going to be a, a Giannis for every position when there's no Giannis that can play shooting guard? There's no Giannis that can play shooting guard. I know there's no opposition, Giannis, but still. Sure, this one should have been point guard, shooting guard. His best down position, shooting guard. Um, 84 three ball. This is just basically the hero, Giannis. This is basically his hero, Giannis, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't mind it too much. Is he copy? He's hero, Giannis. Ooh, except he gets quick. This Giannis is, is him, by the way. Like, as far as um, Giannis cards go for super cheap, as far as there's, like, super cheap Giannis cards go, he's kind of him. He's kind of him. 70, 50 Giannis, 55 Hoffs. 93 ball, 97 speed, 97 acceleration. Doesn't come with Chef or Deadeye. Perfect on defense. Every defensive badge. Play him at small forward. Quick dribble style. Yeah, that's a very quick normal leader. I mean, he's really damn good. He's really damn good. And he's going to be like 50k. He's going to be 30k max. Like these Giannis and Yao. This Giannis and Yao is going to be like 8, 9k. Like he's pro he's looking at like he's looking at 30k max. He's the second worst Giannis. He's looking at 30k max. He's looking at 30k max this card here. Because of, of just Giannis packs. And he's going to be the second most commonly pulled one. 
The only issue is is that there's a hero Yan is gonna go down really cheap as well. Um Saving with Yan is gonna be insane. Point guard Yanis, does he get better SIGs? Slightly. They have the Scotty behind the back. Yanis I'm very quick. He only an 84 three ball though. Um damn good point guard. He's a damn good point guard. Not gonna lie, this is a card that I definitely would consider getting. Like, he is a damn good point guard. 50 hoffs, 6 foot 11. Like, if, if I can somehow find a way to fund this guy for 60k, for, I want to buy a Yao. If I can somehow fund one of these two Yaos with Yanis for 100k, I'll do that. I'll pay, like, if this is 60k or less, I'll take him. And there's a chance of that. There's a chance of that, not gonna lie. So then we got Invincible Yanis. Same SIGs as the point guard. Only, like I was like 15 difference in off badges, but again, can't play point guard. Plus 11 three ball. Plus 11 three ball. Gets a lot, every defensive badge. Tenzi's obviously insane. Um, The only issue with this Yanis is that he can't play small forward. Like he's a power forward center. I'm more people would want Yanis to play at the power... I mean, more people are going to be looking at Yanis to play small forward than power forward. And the fact no one's really going to look for Yanis to center in this game. So, yeah, I would... I wouldn't be that as high on this card. So then we got the small forward center, Yanis. Sesha, John Smith. We got John Smith. We got John Smith with Yanis' build. And this is... He already has base three on his point guards. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Curry, Curry slide, D-Row slides. If he's not John Smith, and they get him base three, they at least, mods, can you ban, mods, can you ban this guy, please? In chat. Um. Ooh. The Curry slide. The Curry slide, lads. I like the Curry slide. I like the Curry slide. But Yanis, either way, even without that, Yanis has still got base there. He's a magic clone. I'm sure, he's a magic clone, but it doesn't matter. No, he's not. Magic has got. Does magic not have Stevie size up? He's magic that can run. Yeah. This card here, if you're somebody who needs to try escape, this card here. I think this Yanis is going to be cheaper than this Yanis. I think this Yanis might be better. So, um, yeah. Whichever Yanis you want. If you have infinite MT, get whichever Yanis you want, trust me. They're both going to be expensive. I think the point guard one's going to be more expensive. The small four one might be better because he gets shot 25. Like, he's John Smith and he's slightly different to John Smith. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter which Yanis you get. They're both gods. So, for me, in terms of what it looks like, it looks like any of the Yanis cards are good. But for me, the one that I'm going to look at is if I can afford the point guard, I'll get the point guard. If not, I'll just buy the small forward one. I'm perfectly fine with using that 75th card. Because that 75th card is really damn good. Um, as far as Yao Ming's go, that point guard Yao might be better than Yang Game Yao. Like that point guard Yao, because of how glitchy his um his jump shot is, like forget about set shot 25. Imagine a shooting guard that you can just pass the ball to and just green over everybody because they because he's a shooting guard. Thank you, Jordan, for so we appreciate it. Like you can run Yao Ming. You can run Yao Ming. A point guard. Let me let me think of a lineup. You can run Yanis in end game Yanis a point guard. Out of position Yao at the two. I I don't know who to run a small forward. Then you can run Marky at the or then you can run like Shaq at the four and Taco at the five. Like Yao allows you to play Taco Shaq. The point guard Yao just gives you giants and he can't get contested. He can't get contested because it's a set shot eight on his upper. Lads. Mental. There's no bot. Like, the only good thing about all this is that I'm probably going to just get these these Yao Mings who are probably going to be like 15k and they're both gods. And then this Giannis is probably going to be 15k who's a god as well. That's the only crazy thing. It's the only crazy, crazy thing.
So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Someone actually pointed out Shaq can play point guard. You're right. You can play Shaq, Yao, Yanis, Wilt, and Taco. Or Mark Eaton and Taco. You can literally run that right now. Ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous stuff. You couldn't even do that in NBA 2K19. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.